Hey everybody, how is it going? Welcome to LinuxInit.com YouTube channel once again. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to install Django on your Ubuntu 20.04. So the idea is that Django is a web development framework that assists in building and maintaining quality web applications. Django helps eliminate repetitive tasks, making the development process an easy and time-saving experience. So let's start. All right. So first of all, what we're going to do is that we're going to press Control Alt T to open up our terminal. First of all, make sure that the Python is installed on your system. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here Python 3 hyphen V. I'm going to check. So I have Python 3 installed on my system. In case you don't have it installed, all you have to do is that you have to write it uh, here. sudo apt install Python 3. That's it. All right. So once you do that after that you have to have the pip module as well so in order to install pip what you would do first of all i'm going to update my repository so i would just write here sudo apt update it would ask me for the password i give in my password and it is going to update all my repository okay so once it has done that now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to clear it I'm going to write here sudo apt install and in order to install the pip module I'm going to write here python3 hyphen pip. I hit enter and you can see that it was not installed that's why it's asking me do you want to continue it would take 157 megabyte space on my disk so I would just press y and I would hit enter and it would basically start to download and install the pip module. So once this pip module would be installed, with the help of the pip module, we'd try to install Django on our Ubuntu 20.04. So we'll wait. All right, so now you can see that Python pip module have been installed. So if you want to check the version or if you want to check if that have been installed successfully or not, then what you can do is that you can write your pip3 and then hyphen v which would basically let you check the version of python pip you can see that pip 20.0.2 uh, has been installed successfully which is the latest version of pip module at the time of the making of this video so once you have done that now using the pip module you are going to install django all right so you just write here pip3 install and then you write here django all right so you hit enter and now it is going to install it so here you can see that it has downloaded it and now it is basically installing it so we'll wait and you can see that it has successfully installed django 3.0.6 on our system so in order to install Django admin, what you're going to do is that you're going to have to write here sudo apt install and then you're going to write here python3 hyphen Django. Okay, so you hit enter, it asks you if you want to install it or not. So I press Y because yes, I want to install it. So now it would install uh, this python3 hyphen Django package as well. So with the help of which we can use Django hyphen admin package. All right. So once it is done, what you can do is that you can write here sudo, not in fact sudo. In fact, you can check the version first. So you can write here Django hyphen admin and then you can write here version. All right. So you hit enter and you can see that now the Django admin version is 3.0.6 that is installed on our system. So now what we can do is that obviously we have installed Django successfully. That was the purpose of this video. So let me show you quickly that how you can basically start a project in Django. So for example, you're going to create your first app. So what you would do, you just write here sudo, then you would write here Django hyphen admin. 
and then you would write here start project and then finally you would write the name of your pro project so I just write here first hyphen Django app all right so if I hit enter but before hitting enter uh, let me show you uh, what do we have in here so you can see that we yet do not have that uh, Django application uh, first app okay so what we would do we we'll just write here hit enter and now you can see that it has not given us any errors so if I ls here you can see that first Django app uh, the project has been created so in order to start working with Django make sure that you understand the basics of procedural and object oriented programming you understand control structures you understand data structures and variables you understand classes and objects and etc okay so right now we're not gonna jump into that detail and not gonna create our first Django application practically but in the upcoming videos we definitely consider it creating um, depending upon your feedback okay so make sure that you comment below tell us what you like in this video and what you would uh, like to see in the future okay for written articles you can always visit our website linuxin.com thank you so much for watching